Hello, this is your boy Nathan here, and you're watching Robot Masters. So, in front of me, I got the LG Cord Zero R9. Ooh, that's a tongue twister. Well, I'm just going to call it R9 for short. And have you ever asked yourself, hmm, Nathan, what kind of uh, cleaning patterns does this new hot LG have? Well, let me go ahead and tell you. This has three cleaning patterns. It has spiral, zigzag, and edge clean. But in this video, I'm going to go ahead and show you the zigzag mode. And since this robot's red, I felt we should do some Imperial Reds. This is basically cinnamon candy, kind of like Red Hots. Really yummy. It's one of my favorite candies, besides Skittles. And let's go ahead and get you guys up close, and we're going to check out the scale and see the zigzag mode. So stay right here. Scale turned on. All right, we're in ounces. We'll just go ahead and put the glass container on, and we're gonna tear it out. Okay, so now we're gonna open up our bag of Imperials. All right, we're looking at 7.640 ounces. Alright, so if the robot does a 100% job, it should pick up that much of the Imperials. Uh, LG, what are you doing there, buddy? You're supposed to check the weight of your dust, but not the weight of the robot. But if you guys are curious, this robot is 145.3 ounces. Okay, let's just check your dustbin here, buddy, okay? Ah, right, let's zero you out. Okay, we're at zero. Yeah, check it out. Pretty clean. So, the actual canister is 20.99 ounces. Alright, I think we can get going here. Okay, let's just get this guy scattered around here. Let me give you guys a quick look up the app. It's called Smart Then Q. So the pairing process was fairly easy, nothing new. And here's the main menu where you could add new appliances and robots. So the LG is ready to go. Okay, so we're on our zigzag mode. There's actually three. Edge, zigzag, and spot. And we're gonna specify an area and we have both the turbo and smart turbo enabled. So let's go ahead and specify an area and check it out, guys. Looks like my three-year-old helped design this map. It's pretty comical. Spatula and whisk, well, that's my kitchen area. And we are ready to go.
Okay, so besides the LG being a really odd, cool looking robot, in my mind, I think it's one of the best looking robot vacuums out there. It stands pretty tall at 14.3 centimeters, so it does definitely struggle getting underneath beds and low hanging furniture. So due to the odd shape of this robot, there's a lot of edges and corners that the robot can easily get hung up on, kind of like a D-shaped robot. But fortunately, LG thought of this and incorporated a very robust navigation system includes both a camera and 3D laser system which does really well detecting glass, clear, and even black objects. It also can detect thin chair legs. And if that's not impressive enough, the robot also can recognize people and tell them to step aside if you happen to step in front of the robot as it's cleaning. There's not very many specs on this robot. I did search high-low on the internet. I went to LG's website and the website itself is pretty vague, but here's what I found is the battery is 5300 milliamp hours and it can run the robot for about 90 minutes. Let's talk about the other sensors that this robot has. Of course this robot has the standard sensors you can't see like the IMU, it also has a gyro, accelerometer. I believe this guy also has an electronic compass. Also there's four cliff sensors to help prevent the robot from falling down the stairs. And finally, the main navigation sensors, the camera and laser. So, let's go ahead and talk about this camera system. So, this is one of the few robots that allow you to access the camera where you can view live video and photos from the camera. They guess this robot as a two-in-one product. A, it's a vacuum cleaner robot and B, it's a security patrolling robot. One of the app features is called HomeGuard, so basically what the robot does is it uses its camera to detect motion, and if motion is detected, it can replay five photos to the user's smartphone. Think of this as a mobile security camera on wheels, it can detect motion, and it works over Wi-Fi, LTE, and 3G. There's not too many robot vacuums that have this kind of security feature. I know there's a lot of robot vacuums out there that use vision camera systems, but a lot of them try to keep the data locked from the user, kind of like the Roombas. You cannot access the Roomba's camera. And that's not all folks. You also have the ability to jump in the robot's live camera feed and drive the robot like an RC car. This is great if you're away from your house and you want to check up on the robot. This feature works over Wi-Fi, LTE, 3G. So find your local coffee shop, hack into the network, and you're off to go driving your little red robot around. But since we live in 2019 and having to do everything by ourselves, manually driving a robot is so mundane and boring, we also have the option for the robot to do that task for us. All you have to do is select an area on the map and the robot will drive to that area automatically. Okay, that's it guys? No way. That robot's not worth $1,800. Nope, sorry. This robot also has another trick up its sleeve. You can actually connect the robot to your home's motion and glass break sensors. So when those sensors trip, the robot will know exactly where those sensors are and will drive to those sensors to check up on what's going on. Wow, that's an amazing feature. I'm still in the process to getting this working. I know it's a certain sensor I have to buy, but once I have those sensors and install in my home, I'll definitely do a video on that as well. Okay, so the robot's not done yet. It also has another cool feature. It's called Smart Diagnostics. Yes, this robot has the ability to check all its sensors, motors, and even the Wi-Fi connection to make sure that it's working properly. So if you ever have a problem, instead of just waiting on hold for hours on end, just go ahead and select the Smart Diagnostics. The robot will go out, roam around a bit to check all its sensors and motors, and will tell you what's going on exactly. Wow, that's an amazing feature. I don't think my robot vacuum, <clears throat> Roomba, can do that. Okay, so you guys aren't impressed yet. You're like, ah, my toaster could do that. Well, can your toaster do this? The robot also has the ability to sense when its filter is dirty, and when its extractors need replacement, and instead of having you do that task, because you know, having to purchase something online is so boring and it's so yesterday, the robot can automatically do that for you. It works with Amazon's auto replacement service where in your area, if it's supported, you can tell the app to, okay, 
take by credit card information, take by firstborn child's information, take by social security number, take everything you know about me, go ahead and allow this cool robot to auto replenish its filter and extractors. Okay, so while I was filming this video, I found some more information. Here it goes. It has a 10 year warranty on the smart motor inverter called the P9. It spins at 115,000 RPM. I don't think the Dyson 360 or Helios can spin that fast. Also, it uses a LG chemistry battery technology. So this battery is fairly safe. It's not one of those like hoverboards that will explode in your face. It has a 5300 milliamp hour battery and it can run up for 90 minutes on a charge. It has 20 times more suction at 140 watts. It has turbo cyclone technology, kind of like the Dyson uses cyclonic technology which provides a fade free suction. It has a five stage fine dust prevention, also has an anti tango brush technology, so we definitely test that on pet hair. We also can vacuum crevices in the floors. It has a flat front port that can reach corners easily, whatever that means. Um, has twice the suction when dirt's detected. So you may notice in my videos when it was going over the red hots, it was increasing its suction. Has the deep DenQ AI with 3D laser sensor. It has a cleaning diary, which you can check up on the robot after it's done. It's kind of like a history of the robot where it's cleaned and hasn't cleaned. Also has the keep out or some people call it the no go zones. And it works with Amazon and Google. And of course, it's a smartphone enabled, uses Wi-Fi, and it has its own dedicated handy little remote. Whew, that was a lot of information. Hope you guys got all of that, and let's just keep on going. So it's almost done. We're just gonna wait for it to finish. Alright, so the robot's just going to spin a few times to make sure it gets the correct bearings, even though it's been in the same room the entire time. Kind of like when the robot first started out, it spun around 360 degrees to kind of get its bearings. Since a LiDAR robot, kind of like the Roborock S6, has a spinning 360 degree laser that's constantly spinning, this guy has to constantly check since the sensors are forward facing, it has to kind of turn and make sure it's in the right area. The LG Core Zero R92, or maybe it's called the R10, will have this plus a spinning LiDAR sensor. It will make it the ultimate navigating robot. Hey guys, so what do you guys think? Well, it looks like it missed one, two, three, four, five. Five out of what, a million red hots? Or whatever they're called, Imperials. Not too bad. I think it did a fair good job. So, this little guy does not have a side brush, so it didn't scatter the food around, which would make it worse. But it did do a perfect cleanup, but definitely I'm gonna check the scale for you guys. Before we do that, please like this video if you thought this LG was a cool little robot factor and this was a type of video you guys like watching. Also, if you're new to my channel, welcome, my name is Nathan, and you watch Robot Masters. I do a lot of crazy reviews, testings, overviews, unboxings, get new robots, hmm, what, every month or so. So, let's go ahead and check out the weight stick here, right here. Okay, let's see what it is. Okay, it looks like we're at, can you guys read that for me? Two point, oh, I'm sorry. So, what is it? 28.56 ounces. Not too bad. So, have a great rest of your day and I'll see you guys next time. Bye now.